few seconds. Use the steps to get up, guys. Hey, you guys, and welcome to today's vlog. I am in the middle, well, not in the middle, I just started getting ready, and I was like, I'm vlogging today, why not just incorporate my getting ready part? So I kind of already have some um, makeup on. For my base, I'll just tell you guys what I'm using. My base is my, um, we're just getting right into this video. My base is the IT Cosmetics CC Matte. I picked this up literally just randomly because we went to a coffee shop and the girl was wearing her skin looked so good and i was like your skin looks good like what are you wearing and she was like well i'm wearing this so i bought the matte one and the, and the regular version so that's what i'm using today and i like that it has spf so that's good and um since we're getting ready together today we do have a sponsor for today's video and this video is sponsored by elf cosmetics i'm going to be featuring some of their products let me show you what I have here. So I have a quite an array of products from there. You know what? The e.l.f. Camo Concealer, I sh not the concealer, the CC cream. I should have used this right here. This is really good. And I picked out two new shades, 375 and 330, because the one that I had was just a tiny bit off. So maybe I'll go over top just for a little bit more coverage. Um, yeah, we'll do that. And then I also have the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. I picked out a few new shades. I got shade Tan Sand, Tan Latte, and Deep Olive. I'm excited to use Deep Olive because I've been looking for a shade in this for bronzing, cream bronzing. So we'll use that. And then I think I'll use Tan Latte or one of these for my under eyes. This is a really good drugstore full coverage concealer they have a lot of things that'll give you like the extra look without paying the extra coin <laughs> and then um the elf putty blush these look really pretty um i got the shades fiji fiji and bahamas so we're gonna be trying these today the elf poreless putty primer this one it's a primer that helps with pore minimizing i haven't been using a lot of primers but this one sounded really good so i was like let me pick this one up to try I'm like, do I have any? Oh, you know what? I'll try this on my under eyes. And I also have an eyeshadow palette and a few brushes from e.l.f. Cosmetics that I'll be using today. So um, let me put a little bit more of this on my skin. I'm going for really light makeup, honestly. I don't really... Well, I didn't have much plan today and then my sister called me right now and she's like hey are you gonna go to because one of my cousins is having a like a little birthday gathering for her son and i completely forgot i usually write things in my calendar on my phone and i stick to that because that way i don't like over plan things on one day and i completely forgot to put it in there so now I'm like, oh shoot. So I'm going to just get ready for the day. And then if I stop by, I'll already be nice and ready. And then tomorrow, I'm going to like this food festival thing with my sisters and my parents. Darius might come. He has a tournament. So first we're going to go to that. And then if he has some time, um, or if it ends early, then we're going to go to that. So I do, I'm gonna add a little bit more coverage to my face, just like right here. So I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. I'm gonna try a shade medium 375 neutral, cause this one looks like it might be better. Before I do that though, I'm gonna use the Poreless Putty Primer. This brush right here is actually for the putty primer, so you can see it has a little scoop right there. And then it has this end to apply it. I'm just going to use my finger because I'm putting it on a small area. Just to help with any fine lines. 
Come on. There you go. Oh yeah, that's gonna, it's a little bit more tan. I know I already have my makeup on, but I need to remove my little stash. <laughs> I'll do tan latte. Hopefully it's not. Ooh, that looks kind of deep. No, I'm scared. <laughs> I'll do tan sand just to be safe. This one is more yellow. You know what? I'll just mix some of this one in there too. Well, that, that actually would have worked. That's fine. We'll just do a nice combo. And this concealer, you want to blend this out as soon as you put it on your under eyes because it's matte, okay? Once it sets and dries down, it's gonna stay all day long. So you wanna make sure to go in with this right away and just blend it out completely. Using the same concealer in Deep Olive to cream bronze. I'm excited for the blush, which I'm gonna do next. I don't even know which one I'm gonna pick. I might just mix the two also because they both look so nice. Oh, this is a little light. Hourglass cream bronzer using my favorite cream bronzing brush whenever I use this. You guys ask about it and it is from e.l.f. Cosmetics. It's the Complexion Duo and I'm using the Hourglass foundation in warm almond as my bronzer my cream bronzer just take some of that like that i'm like who is emailing on the weekend like no one no one emails on the weekend Oh, no, 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 no. Y'all, I don't know what's going on with me today, but I keep forgetting steps. <laughs> the Pretty Blush. This is a cream blush, so I want to make sure to put this before. Well, that that's fine, because I just put the powder um, right in the, in the inner corners. But this is the shade Bahamas, which is kind of the shade I'm leaning towards, the more peachy coral one. That's pretty. I'm glad we didn't skip that because that looks stunning compared to this side. I mean, both look good with or without, but this just got kind of adds a little more. And I just got my lashes done too. So that cuts down my getting ready time by a lot. But if by any means you're in a rush, you can literally stop right here and you already have a full face ready to go. You can just pop on your brows real quick. I do like to take additional steps just to really lock in my makeup because I have oily skin. My Sephora Micro Smooth Powder in 56. I should just start the vlogs with, well when I have my makeup done with just like a makeup of the day even though the thing with me is that I do the same makeup looks I just switch up the products for a little for a little twang you know but for the most part I like to keep it very simple nowadays I'm more so trying to get my makeup to the point where I'm like okay I feel pretty every day without take having to take too much time to do it and so, like when I used to be creative, the thing with that was that sometimes I would like my makeup and then other days I would hate it and I would have to redo it or just kind of go with the flow because I was experimenting a lot more. And nowadays I just like having like my 
go to makeup look and then i switch out products and try new things that way sometimes i will switch it up a little bit but for the most part i just like to keep it very fresh lightweight feeling while still getting the coverage and like experimenting with new products you know what i mean so and finding new staples and new makeup gems so that's kind of been my jam as of lately for my eyes just to add a little something there i'm taking the elf this little bite size eyeshadow palette in pumpkin pie i'm pretty sure i already have this one but now i have a fresh new one i'm i think it is this one that i have yeah it is so i'm taking this first shade that's just going to be like my bronzy lid shade so my go-to lip liner max strip down you guys already know Three of my favorite glosses as of lately, the Fenty Heat. This one, it's plumping and it adds a really nice tint to your lips. Um, this one, I like to use it when I want my lips to look like super juicy, which I might do today. Um, I also like this one. Usually I use this one for a deeper lip because I like to add a light gloss. This is the Gloss Bomb in Sweet Mouth. So compared to this one, you can see the color difference and then i have the dior lip maximizer in peach 004 i think it's peach so nice these all these glosses right here are my, my favorites as of lately so first though i'm going to use the fenty beauty slip shine that's so tiny in makeout break so this is just a glossy like a glossy lip balm type of thing pretty and then depending on if i want to add warmth if i want to add warmth i'll use this if i want to add more peachiness i'll use this and if i want to keep it more of a nude then i'll use this so what do i want to do today my my cheeks are kind of peachy so i'm thinking i want to use the dior because i think that would tie in with the cheeks and the blush that i used so we're just gonna do the Dior 004. So just a little peachiness brings the look all together. Love it. And it's simple, lightweight. The CC creams make make the makeup look really lightweight, but still give me the coverage. And then of course with everything else, the bronzer and the blush and the lip color it adds some life and bronziness to the skin elf cosmetics products are vegan so you can look good and feel good and not feel guilty for using their products and of course i'll have links for everything that i use all of their products including like everything everything will be linked down below for you guys Big thank you to e.l.f. Cosmetics once again for sponsoring today's video. Now we are ready, nice and kind of glam for the day. So I am actually, these are today's plans, okay? I am going to head out. So you guys, if you watched my last vlog, you guys know I was kind of redecorating and stuff. So I have a few things I need to go out and return. We're going to go to Target. I have a Target pickup too. Okay, since we're in the office... The vase that I showed in my video, this one right here, completely shattered on me. I don't know what happened. What I'm thinking is maybe the heat because I moved it in here and sometimes the sun hits in here and where I had it before on our dining table, it the sun doesn't hit there. So I'm thinking that's what it was. I don't know it was really strange so i just ordered another one and i'm gonna go pick that up but i also have a few returns at target and i have a few returns at home goods and then we're gonna go later on to my cousin's house for her son's birthday so that's today and then tomorrow i'm probably gonna bring you guys with me too to the food festival um i don't think 
I, it's kind of I'm assuming it's kind of like a carnival or like a fair but with all food I don't think I've ever been to anything like that so that's gonna be really fun I'm gonna give you today's breakdown so uh, my makeup you guys already know I did get ready with me my hair I used my L'Oreal steam pod still loving that thing obsessed my tank this is actually a compression tank that I ordered from Amazon I like it I just need to get a size large so they run tiny I got a size medium and this thing is tight duh it's a compression top but I want to be able to actually breathe so but I like it because I don't have to worry about wearing anything supportive underneath because it's already tight and it's a simple tank. So I'm gonna order more of these right after I get done with this. And then my leggings are also from Amazon. These are some of my favorite leggings. I forget the brand, but I'll link these exact ones down below. My sneakers are the Yeezy Belugas and then my purse. My purse, I just bought this from Princess Polly. I'll link it down below it's like this really cute faux animal print with gold hardware really love it and then my jewelry monica venatter i'm gonna actually film a video with them too so i'll give you guys the breakdown for these pieces and a few more but i am obsessed with these it will not focus but that is the breakdown for today and then i'm going to show you also the perfume I'm gonna put on so these were sent to me by way and they both smell so good I think today I'm gonna use Dean Street this one is I think my favorite so far so that's kind of I don't know I'm like they both really do smell good so I don't even know which one I want to oh, I'm thinking if I can mix them maybe mm. and they're both fresh which is harder to pick because during the daytime I like to use really fresh scents but they both yeah I'll use Dean Street this one smells like a fresh walk in the park I don't even know if that makes sense but before I even try to describe this let me look up the notes on it so you guys know because these are new okay so dean street is in the fresh family it's fruity floral mandarin lemon and grapefruit and apricot along with middle notes of rose magnolia muguet and violet experiencing combination is like taking a ride along the english countryside so yeah it's kind of like literally a fresh walk in the park all types of different florals it's just so good and i used to be the type to just do like one or two sprays but i like to be able to smell my perfume after <laughs> after a while and have it not rub off so I've been going in with the scent. I actually can get rid of these boxes now, but both of these smell bomb. Honestly, if you like something that's not too heavy and you want to be able to have your perfume on display because of how they look, the way sprays are good. I also have their original, one of their original scents and it smells good too. But anyway, that is my outfit for today, my hair, my makeup so now we can head out for the day i was going to go to starbucks but i ended up getting sidetracked and it's already 1 so it's like lunchtime because usually when i go to starbucks i get the blueberry oatmeal like when i want breakfast on the go i'll get the blueberry oatmeal that one is so good my trainer actually put me onto that 
and or i'll do like the original oatmeal too that one i tried that one the other day because they were out of the blueberry one that one was good too or and or i'll get the bacon egg bite so if i'm like really hungry i'll get both and then if i'm just kind of like i want something light then i'll do one or the other so i was gonna do both today because i'm hungry but it's already like 1 30 so i'm just gonna go to panera because i haven't been to panera in a while and i'm hungry but i want something that's gonna be filling yet light if that makes sense and i feel like they kind of have that so that's where i'm headed right now and they also opened up a pressed juicery like the juice place around me so i think i'm gonna go there since i'm already gonna be at panera and it's around there um because i want to get some juices i think i'm just gonna sit down and eat real quick since i kind of have a little bit of time to i was gonna do that just because i feel like i have to go kind of like across town to the to the other target to get that face so i'm just gonna go there like on my way so I, i'm not going out of the way to go there and then that way i can just stay on this side of town for because i have to go to home goods uh where else do i have to go to kohl's to go to an amazon return a few amazon returns and then i'm going to go eat this way so it just makes sense i could always do chick-fil-a but i'm not trying to do that last night we had a an ice cream date and i also ate fried food yesterday so i'm trying not to do that to myself today i'm just trying to stay balance and then i know too like at my cousin's son's birthday i'm sure they're gonna have like you know their snacks and things so i'm just gonna keep it light for lunch and then see what they have later on over there and i need to put gas to hotter than a mug okay so i ended up getting three juices i went to pressed juicery and for their grand opening they had it to where you only pay two dollars for each item so my total was six bucks the total was supposed to be like 16 or something so that was cool uh, only thing is and i didn't think about this is i'm not going home so i'm like Will these juices still be fine? I got the citrus too, which is apple, pineapple, lemon, and mint. Looks really refreshing and good. Oops, too dark. <laughs> yeah, so I got this one here. And then I also got 
this is the one I'm no not this one this is coffee protein so it has banana monk fruit almond butter oats vanilla extract pea protein coffee and maca is that how you say it these I'm gonna save for later this week but the one I want to drink right now is I hope those will be fine is this one so this one is strawberry orange mango smoothie it has apple orange strawberries mango peach lemon elderberry and vitamin c that sounds good only thing is this is very high in sugar very high in sugar i didn't even think to ask that but it has 43 grams of sugar I don't know if I want to do that. I don't know if I want to do that. That might be a no for me. This one has 49 grams of sugar. Sheesh. Y'all. But I don't want to get the green one because the green one is like, see, this one has five grams of sugar. The coffee protein. The one that's. Uh, I mean, it's. The good thing is it's like all from fruit, but still. Whatever, we're gonna drink it anyway. Mm, that's good. It's crazy because it doesn't even taste sweet like that though. So now it's time to head out to Home Goods. Maybe not. I'm kind of thinking about it. And Home Goods is usually packed on Saturdays. And I'm literally just going to return stuff. So maybe I'll just go to Target instead and return the stuff that I have from Target and save the Home Goods stuff for. Yes. If you don't mind your business. <laughs> These two guys are walking by and staring. It's like, yes, I'm recording. Okay. All right, let's go. Today's Sunday. We just got back from Starbucks and getting the car wash. And I'm going to try this. I didn't end up drinking the whole one yesterday because it was just too much, but it was really good. Um, so I'm going to try the coffee protein smoothie. I got my egg bacon egg bites and I also <laughs> and I also got my oatmeal. So I got the original oatmeal and it comes with like fruit um, or I think it's the classic oatmeal. And there's like pieces of cranberry and like other fruit in there, almonds, and then they give you brown sugar too. So this is my breakfast for today. Okay, so we are now like 10 minutes away from, can you see? Okay, we're like 10 minutes away from the gym. I'm not going to vlog in there just because it's kids basketball and there's like kids everywhere. So I won't be vlogging in there, but I will probably vlog at the Flint Festival since I'm sure there's going to be like a lot of things to vlog there and then I'll show you guys like what we eat and stuff. So I'm meeting up with, right now Darius and I are driving together to the gym and then after that I'm going to drive down. It's like about an hour away from where we're at right now to the food festival with, and meet up with my parents because Darius is going to go hang out with his grandpa. He's down here from Mississippi. <laughs> so he's gonna hang out with him and his auntie after the gym and then we'll probably just meet up back at home and just chill for the rest of the day because well I won't be getting home till I think the festival ends at 8 so I'm gonna get home like later and then just chill for the evening because tomorrow actually no I don't have workout tomorrow not until Tuesday but I'll probably try to wake up and go to the gym to kick off the week and then start working but that is where we're headed right now
So you can try to read for a few These seconds. These are my sisters. Sure, come back down. They never so you're gonna the come out my beard. Two seconds. Use the steps to get up, guys. My mom and my mom. Which one is Sara? Which one is Sara? Super hot. Yeah, no, six, man. Yeah. She's yeah. Rami. Yeah.